Hello everybody, welcome to the video. It has been a long time since we've done a sledding video. Um, we got the axis all loaded up here, just waiting on the other guys. Actually, there they are right there, coming down the road. So we're gonna be heading off to Revelstoke pretty quick here. We're just in Enderby. And uh, it's about 7.20 I think. Yeah, 7.21, so should be a good day. Rock and roll. truck with a trailer trying to back his way down so kind of all trying to pull off the side of the road here and let him go by so that we can keep going a little further so kind of just waiting scratch that we're leaving <laughs> should be all right there's a decent amount of snow here so um somehow the bolt managed to come out that holds my rear axle on and now my track is not riding straight or tight or anything. That's the, one of the only bolts I didn't check the other night. <sighs> well, um, unless we can find all those pieces on the trail somewhere back there. It wasn't too far back that it started happening. Um, I might be done for the day, so we will see. Okay, so. We're making progress. We got the lock nut off the track tensioner. Um, yeah, so if we can find that other bolt back on the trail somewhere, I think we'll be okay. Be laughing. Yeah. I'm not laughing right now though. No, not not really. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you get pretty creative when you have limited tools and you're on the hill. At least it's only a couple k back to the truck, so we're not way down some bowl somewhere but yeah i'm glad it happened here yeah no kidding for sure and this kids is why you don't modify your snowmobiles this that's don't listen to him that's <laughs> false <laughs> uh, okay, just got, got, a bolt, I got it pretty much bottomed all the way out bolt check every bolt before you go <laughs> not just most of the bolts loctite yeah that too i guess that would that'd be a good idea <laughs> that works really good. Yeah. Oh dear. Well, we made it back down. We, uh, let's see here. Took the, uh, Bogey wheels right out, axle right out, and uh, yeah, we all drug it up there together, so. Oh man, it's always an adventure whether you actually snowmobile or not. <laughs> kind of crazy, a little, little disappointing for sure, but oh well, it is what it is. And I guess we'll, uh, I'll be stopping at the Polaris dealership on the way home to uh, get this thing going again. Oh, it is raining. All right, so uh, this is warping past quite a bit of time, actually, probably a couple hours here. Uh, the plan right now, anyway, is that we're going to be going sledding again in a week, basically, uh, this coming Saturday. Not totally sure where yet, but uh, definitely plan on plan on going again. So hopefully there will actually be snowmobiling in that video. Um, you've made it this far in the video thank you for uh, sticking around and all that stuff want to say thanks again to Nathan and Eric they were uh, very good about the whole situation they understood you know sometimes stuff just happens and and to be honest if something had to happen today that was about as best as it could have turned out we were only about five kilometers away from the truck when it happened we weren't way back some bowl or something like that or in super deep snow or anything so we got lucky um, so anyway, I'm gonna be putting this thing back together very carefully, doing another bolt check on it. I did a bolt check about two nights ago, and obviously I didn't check that one. <laughs> so anyway, uh, if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching, and um, please consider subscribing. That would be sweet. 
Uh, like, comment, like to hear from you guys all the time. That's great. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Subscribe.